Hey, what is up guys? This is Bo or Carl Hung at 712 and today I'm bringing you some Black Ops 2 gameplay uh, throwback here on Grind. Uh, in my opinion, one of the greatest DLC maps we ever had. I, I could play this map all day. I love it. I love the colors. Beautiful game. Love Black Ops 2. But the key, um, the main point of this video is going to be the Modern Warfare 2 leaks that we've seen uh, come out on Reddit and uh, from some of the other YouTubers. Uh, it was leaked on a European... Um, Amazon website if I remember correctly and uh, supposedly it is to be released in the coming months here in uh, April or May so uh, today I figured we'd talk about that um, see what you, see how you guys feel about it see if you think it'd be worth remastering if it makes sense um, take those uh, rose colored glasses off then take the nostalgia factor away you know does is the game even going to function well um, today um, and for one, uh, one example, one reason I, I'm a little worried about him releasing MW2 is that, as we saw with Modern Warfare Remastered that came out with IW uh, last year, or two years ago actually now, in my opinion, Modern Warfare Remastered was a huge, huge letdown. Um, I didn't play COD 4 when it was originally out. I played it later because I, I just started playing COD later in my life. And in the original Modern Warfare Remastered, I thought played really well. Um, yes, she died quickly, but um, I think with the older game, like I said, the net code wasn't quite as strong in that game because it's an old game. You know, what, when was Modern Warfare uh, 1 um, created? Was it like 06 or something? It was somewhere right, right around there, the early 2000s. And like I said, you didn't die as quickly. And I think that was one of the big things with Modern Warfare Remastered is that with the with stopping power, the M16, the MP5, the AK74, and hell, even the AK47, you know, those guns killed you so incredibly fast that it really slowed the game down. Nobody really wanted to move, and it kind of reminded me a little bit of when Ghost first came out, because it, that was kind of the same problem we had with Ghost, was that the hit detection was so great in that game. It wasn't necessarily that the, the guns didn't do bet more damage in Ghost, it, the the uh, net code was uh, was so far advanced in that game that you died really fast. You you just melted people, which I kind of liked. You know I kind of you know I like to know the fact that you know if I'm if I'm accurate, and I hit my shots. This person's going to be dead quick. But the uh, of course caveat to that is that you know with people dying that fast, it's going to slow the game down, and for most people, it's going to make the game rather boring. Um, and that's one thing I worry about with MW2 because in MW2 you had phenomenal hit detection already and you died pretty quick. Um, but I don't know if it'll make a huge difference because, like I said, the, the hit detection in MW2 is one of the best games too for, for the netcode. But, you know, that's one thing I worry about. It's, is, is the game going to be as fast-paced and as fun as it was for most people back when they played it? Number two, of course, the elephant in the room that we all know about with Modern Warfare 2 is one man army so do you remaster the game and you fix that or do you stay true to its roots and make the game truly a remastered you make the game as it was and I think that's what most people would probably want is to make the game the way it was just like with Modern Warfare Remastered people wanted that game remastered for years and they wanted it remastered in the exact same manner that the game originally was and I completely understand that if like same with me you know MW2 is my baby that's that's my game I could play that I still could get on that game and play it all day non-stop that's how much I enjoy the game the maps the flow the feel just everything that game just like I said it was just my favorite uh, <laughs> broken panic knife there I had the old uh, old dull butter knife there going on but um, you know that's it, that's like I said. That's one thing I worry about with remastered. I want to hear in the comment section what you guys think. If you guys think it would make sense, or if you guys think it would be great to to have the remastered. But like I said, that's one thing that worries me with the remastered is that I worry that people are going to go in with those rose-colored glasses and they're going to remember all the great times they had on that game. Just like with Black Ops 2 with me, you know, I think mostly of the great times. There were problems with this game, and I, and I think this is one of the best CODs balance wise map design wise competitive wise you know this game is pretty pretty solid but it had its problems just as well as all the other cods and and like i said i i just i don't know how great modern warfare 2 remastered would be and that's one thing i worry about uh with the game 
Um, I do. I love the maps in Modern Warfare 2. I think they have some of the best maps. I love the guns. I love the sounds of the guns. Um, God, that FAMAS, man. Give me that FAMAS with stopping power. I'm set to go. You know, Put me in Terminal, one of my favorite maps. I think one of the best maps ever made. I'm good to go. Um, it was nice having kill streaks that actually killed people in that game. Um, that's one of the problems I think we've had with uh, Infinity Ward and um, Sledgehammer. The last couple of games they've made, the kill streaks have been kind of under underwhelming. To I mean, that's to be kind about it, which I think would be fun about having a uh, remastered MW2. You know, if you do go on a streak, if you do get a lot of kills, if you're playing well, you're going to have some rewarding streaks. That that uh, AC ass clapper 130. I mean, you can't go wrong with that. Um, chopper gunner. Uh, you go for the nuke. You know, I mean, there's a lot of great things with MW2. Um, I just, I, I'm a little worried that if it does come out, that it's not going to be quite the game that everybody remembers it to be. But I, I, like I said, I want to hear what you guys think. You know, or if you guys played the original Modern Warfare and then you played the remaster, do you have the same thoughts as I do that the game just did not age well? Um, you know, do we need to change the perk system in that game? Do we need to adjust the one-man army a little bit? Um, do we need to adjust... Uh, danger close do we need to adjust the you know just some of the explosives um or do you think we should just keep it the same you know i i'm curious like i said i think i think that's the problem that we're going to have with a remastered is that you know what route do we take because i think if you release the game as it is people are going to have a lot of fun the first like two nights and then everybody's going to be getting getting irritated with the uh cross map noob tubes just non-stop so i want to know in the comment section what you guys think i am kind of excited at the thought of a remastered modern warfare but i kind of worry about it too but i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'll see you next video bow out